Hello and welcome to my showreel. My name is Troy Rawson and today I'm going to be sharing some of the work that I created at university with all of you. There is a good mixture of stuff from 3D animation to simple video editing and a little bit of audio work as well. So without further ado, let's get to it and start off with my year one work. So to start off the year one work, the first thing that I want to show you is this. It's a Corona news package that I created during the first lockdown. It's fair to say that coronavirus has affected all of us, but it's affected students, parents and small business owners quite a lot. So we spoke with some of those people to find out what their opinion was on the pandemic. Ellis is a parent of two children who have been home since December. They only recently went back to school. I think they should have prioritised that. Instead, they've prioritised a lot of businesses and the elderly. Uh, I do think we should look after the elderly, but the kids are our future, and I think they should have done a lot, lot more. They've more or less forgotten about the university students, concentrated on the younger kids, but still not very good so no i'm not very impressed jody is a sixth form student who has just begun her first year it's been difficult to do creative subjects at home and school has not realized that it's a lot easier to do maths at home than doing a painting at home michael is a self-employed builder and cabinet maker who has still been able to carry out his work even though the pandemic has happened a lot of my jobs are outside and then things that I make in here like this I take to the customer so I don't really have a lot of contact with customers. I can keep well away and it's just you know much easier that way. So another thing that I made in the first year it was a simple bit of editing uh, but we basically had to take a still image and make it move. So I created this Arriva advert. Whether you're travelling by car, helicopter, or by train, do it with Arriva. Moving on to the second year and I had to create a 3D model and animate it in a certain way. So I decided to create a little robot, make him walk into a house and also make him wave at his friend. After making a simple robot move and walk in 3D, I then had to make a more sophisticated character and actually light it properly. Because I'm a big fan of Lego, I decided to build a simple Lego man, which was actually more difficult than it looked, and animate it in a realistic walking style. And the final thing that we had to do in the second year was take a short scene from a well-known movie. In this example, I chose James Bond. And we had to add ourselves or somebody else into the scene. Always makes me a little melancholy. The grand old warship being ignominiously hauled away for scrap. 007? 
I'm your new quartermaster. You must be joking. Why? Because I'm not wearing a lab coat? Because you still have spots. My complexion is hardly relevant. Well, your confidence is. Age is no guarantee of efficiency. And youth is no guarantee of innovation. Standard issue radio transmitter. Activate it and it broadcasts your location. gun and a radio. Then we move on to my third year work. This is where it got more sophisticated and a little bit more difficult. We had to design a 3D environment. It could be as simple or as realistic as we liked and add ourselves into it. So I filmed myself in front of a green screen, made a 3D simple city, and created this short scene. We also had to make an intro to a movie or TV show. I decided to make an intro to a detective show with my own name in the title. In the third year, we again had to make still images move in an animation-like manner. But we had to do it a lot more sophisticated, we had to add voiceover and make it as realistic as possible. Since I am a big fan of tomato ketchup, I decided to do a 5 facts on Heinz ketchup video. Here are six facts about Heinz ketchup. Fact one. Over 1.8 million bottles of ketchup are produced every day. Fact two. Heinz is home to over 57 different condiments. Fact 3 It would take 1,162,791 bottles to fill an Olympic swimming pool. Fact 4 In 1999, astronauts took ketchup to space for the very first time. Fact 5 If you let ketchup pour out of the bottle by itself, 
it has a top speed of 0.028 miles an hour. Fact 6 When Henry J. Hines founded the company in 1869, ketchup was originally called catsup. Now for our final project in the third year, we had to create a documentary. Video games are a big part of my life and something that I enjoy very much, something that I have a lot of knowledge about. But I also wanted to find out about the history of video games. So I decided to make my documentary on the history of gaming. The history of video games began in the 1950s and 1960s. Before that, people enjoyed playing games like chess and Monopoly. In the 1960s, a number of computer games were created, but these failed to achieve any kind of wide-scale distribution due to the lack of computer resources. However, by the end of the 1970s and into the 80s, the situation had changed drastically. Arcades had become a popular attraction with the youth of the day. There were all kinds of genres to play from, shooters to racing games. By the 1990s, home entertainment systems were becoming more mainstream, allowing you to play video games from the comfort of your own home. Introduction of the CD-ROM meant that it was easier than ever to switch games simply by inserting a different CD. In 2000, Sony released the PS2 with Xbox releasing its first console soon after in 2001. In 2005, Xbox unveiled its new version of their console, the 360. Sony challenged this by releasing the PS3 in 2006, followed by Nintendo with the Wii. Games like Grand Theft Auto and Call of Duty allowed players to immerse themselves in an alternate reality. Online subscription services like Xbox Live and PlayStation Network allowed gamers to play together over the internet rather than split screen. These days the gaming industry is blowing up with new games being released every month and universities even offering courses in games manufacturing and design. Further advancements like virtual reality have been around for a few years, but they are becoming more affordable and even more mainstream. Motion capture has allowed games companies to make their characters movements even more realistic and immersive. The games industry is an exciting one and we can't wait to see where it will take us next. So that is a brief look at the things I created at university. That is my best work. I have some other things as well, but I don't think they're worthy of putting on the showreel. But hopefully you enjoy taking a look at what I've been up to the last three years and what I actually did my degree in. If you enjoyed the video, why not smash the like button and subscribe for more videos like this.